Hello, welcome back to another rugby video on the rugby channel and today we're going to be looking at the history of rugby in Iceland, so stay tuned. Welcome back to another video on the rugby channel, please make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button, as well as please go ahead and follow us on our social media platforms to be up to date with the channel. Rugby union is a minor sport in Iceland with a small history. The ancient Norse had a sport called Kanatika, which was deferred substantially from rugby in that it used sticks. It also had a couple of similarities in it in tackling methods and the ball could be carried. As a purist language, which has almost no modern foreign loanwords, Icelandic has a unique name for rugby, known as Ruinarninga. It is perhaps the only language to use its own name for the sport which is not cognate for, with rugby. Iceland was formerly a colony of Denmark, and when Denmark was occupied by Germany during the Second World War, British forces occupied Iceland itself. However, it is not recorded whether they played in Iceland while stationed there. Rugby itself was first displayed in, in Denmark in 1931, and did not reach Iceland. Likewise, the Danish Rugby Union was founded after Icelandic independence in 1950. In 2009, a group of expats and locals started the project to create the first rugby team in Iceland. They can be found on Facebook at the Rugby Feel Like Islands, Iceland, which means Icelandic rugby team, and it's a group on Facebook. In 2010, the Reykjavik Raiders Rugby Club was founded. The team competed in the Copenhagen Sevens in August of this year. This was the first time an Icelandic rugby team had played anywhere. They continue to train and grow and are working hard to eventually establish and develop the game in Iceland, with a view to grow the sport domestically and competing internationally. Sunday the 3rd of July 2011 is a historic event for the development of rugby union in Iceland, and a major milestone for the Reykjavik Raiders Rugby Football Club. For both the Raiders and Iceland, this date marks the first 15s game played by the club and the first ever played on an Icelandic soil. The game against the Thunderbird Oiled Boys from Phoenix, Arizona at the Valor Sports Complex in Reykjavik was a great learning step for the Icelandic team that ended up with an Icelandic win. Starting in January 2012, RKK, or the Rugby Club of Kopavoga, has been added to the portfolio of clubs operating in Iceland. The first game scheduled between the two Icelandic teams is scheduled to take place in April. In February 2013, the Icelandic Exiles rugby team played six 15 games and participated in the Vegas HSBC Interdivisional Rugby Tournament. The Icelandic rugby team plays its first official Rugby Sevens tournament Saturday the 1st of June in 2013 in Riga at the FIRA AER Rugby Sevens. It has been participated in the FIRA AER Rugby Sevens at Rikstini near Prague on Saturday the 28th of June 2014. There is no sport union in Iceland for rugby union. There needs to be an established a minimum of five rugby clubs before a union can be formed. Rugby Iceland is the representing body for the sport in the country. They are currently affiliated to the FIRA AER but not yet known in the IRB. The FIRA AER is a rugby Europe for the administration body for rugby union in Europe. It was formed in 1999 to promote and develop organised the administrating game of rugby and it's also under the authority of World Rugby. So basically it's not like the World Rugby Union board, it's more like the second thing of Rugby Union. I for one would love to see Rugby Union grow in Iceland and maybe even one day see Iceland compete in the international stage. Who knows, it would be pretty amazing. I mean to be able to see a game played over live in Iceland would be pretty awesome. And it would obviously be amazing for travelling fans to go up there and watch a rugby game as well. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. And without further ado, that will be the end of today's video. Okay guys, without further ado, that will be the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and comment. Let me know what you thought. Would you want to see Iceland make a professional one day and compete in the international stage? Let me know in the comment section. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. Covering loads of stuff like this. As well as rugby union matches. 
as well as rugby gaming when it comes to video games. So if you literally are a massive fan of rugby, no matter where you are in the world, please go ahead and subscribe. We try and cover every single thing to do with rugby. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please make sure you click that notification button to be notified when I upload. I have been Andrew. I will see you in another upload. Peace out guys.